Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk about getting vulnerable with sharing your deep emotions. I was recently at a family event and at these things, as I'm sure you're aware, there were lots of relatives and friends and all sorts of people. And I got chatting to this one gentleman who I've known for so many years and I was just teasing him. I can't even remember how the conversation started. Um, I think he was talking about his relationship with his father and how it had always been quite distant and how they didn't share their feelings. And I found it quite amazing because this person's quite, well, very intelligent. Um, and has always seemed quite grounded in my eyes. And I didn't realize that they had this disconnection, I suppose, going on. Um, and as I sort of was chatting with him, I suppose I was teasing him as well. It became apparent that he struggles to just even say the word, I love you, or the words, I love you, um, to anyone, let alone his father or somebody like that. And that's really what got me thinking and decided to sort of do this um, episode today, because I had a similar experience with my own father. Um, when I was growing up, um, I always knew my father loved me, but he wasn't very demonstrative. Um, he very rarely hugged me. He very rarely ever said that he loved me. In fact, I don't really remember him ever really telling me he loved me. And the only times I really remember him hugging me were when he'd had a couple too many to drink, which didn't often happen. And I could have counted, in fact, I mean, I say I could have counted the times he hugged me on one hand. Um, I can actually remember only once when he hugged me. Um, that's how rarely it actually happened. So we also had that kind of disconnect going on in our family as well. But when I did my training and when I started learning about living a conscious life and all of those things, I realized that you can't change people. So you can't make somebody tell you they love you. You can't make them be more cuddly. You can't make them do those things, but you can change yourself. And it's to start doing what you expect of others. So for instance, with my father, I wanted him to tell me that he loved me, but I also thought it was very important that he know, knew that I loved him. And so that's really what I decided. And I, I didn't really know what the outcome was going to be, but um, I knew that it was very important that I shift or start changing what was going on in our family. So what I did was every time I saw him, I would give him a hug. And every time I said goodbye to him, I would give him another hug and tell him I loved him whether it was on the phone or obviously you can't hug someone on the phone, but <laughs> I would tell him I loved him whenever I said goodbye to him on the phone and I would give him a hug and tell him I loved him every time I said goodbye to him in, in, when we were there physically together. And it went on for quite a long time. And to be honest, I didn't really kind of notice any difference. It still felt quite awkward. Um, and when I say quite a lot of time, most likely a year or more, um, but I carried on persevering because I felt it was really important. And then one day I remember he came, he arrived at my house. Um, he lived quite far away, about a seven hour drive away. Um, so he didn't always just pop round. And this particular evening he popped round and my kids were very young. And anyone who's had young kids will know that there's a certain time in the evening when it's supper time and it's absolute chaos and it's like everything goes mad. And so he walked through the door and I was cooking and the kids were going mad. Um, and he stood there and he went, well, where's my hug? Um, and that's when I realised how much things had changed because he'd gone from somebody who, as I said, I can only really remember once him properly hugging me since my parents separated when I was six, to somebody who felt like it wasn't right if I hadn't come up and given him a hug as soon as I saw him. Um, and yes, initially, it was very awkward making those changes. It was very awkward hugging someone who felt like a stiff board every time you hug them. And yes, it felt very awkward telling someone I loved them when I was the one putting my heart on the line and I didn't really get a lot of response from him. But sort of fast forward a number of years later, and I wouldn't change it for the world because him knowing I loved him and him giving me hugs and telling me he loved me is one of the most precious things that I will ever have. And I think that anyone who knows what it's like to be loved would agree with that. My son had a similar problem with his father in that whenever he went to hug him, his father would get all stiff and kind of uncomfortable. And this was when he was quite young. I remember him coming back from visiting his father once because unfortunately we separated when he was very young and him complaining that his father never gave him any hugs and wasn't affectionate with him. 
and I think my son was only like seven or eight or something like that and I explained to him what I'd done with my father and I said you can't expect your father to be different you can't make him wrong for not being loving it's how he was brought up and he doesn't know any better so it's up to you to love him and I kept it all very simple and I said you know you can't you can't expect someone to show you that affection but you can give that affection um, and I remember a couple of visits later him coming back and being absolutely ecstatic because his father had given him a, hu a cuddle, given him a hug. And I just really want to share it with you because you can make a difference. The thing is not to expect that difference. I mean, for myself and for my son, things did ch turn around and change, but they might not for you. And, and that's still okay because giving love and loving somebody and being vulnerable with somebody, it can be very hard and uncomfortable. But even without that being reciprocated, it is still the most wonderful gift you can give somebody. And if you do love someone, why would you not want to give them that particular gift? It's not something when you really truly love someone, it's not something that you ex have to expect back from them. It doesn't have to be a reciprocated thing. You can love someone wholeheartedly um, and not know whether they love you or not. And there is still joy in that giving. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also in the show notes below, there'll be links to my online courses and to my website so that you can contact me if you are interested in coaching with me. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.